Hello, welcome to Electrical Circuits part number 19. We'll be discussing resistive inductive capacitive or RLC parallel circuit analysis. As you see by the schematic, we do have a parallel circuit. We start from our power source. We have one path up to a node where we can go through the resistor branch or continue on. Uh, and then we have another node where we can go to the inductive branch or continue on up to the capacitor. And out of the capacitor, we come back around still uh, to connect to the node from bringing the inductor back into the circuit and to the node bringing the resistor back into the circuit full circle to our parallel circuit. So we have two or more paths for the current to flow. We have three paths. Our uh, circuit frequency is 60 hertz. Total voltage is 240 volts. Our resistance of 12 ohms, our inductive reactance of 8 ohms, and our capacitive reactance of 16 ohms. So get started with this. We are going to have to tweak the reciprocal formula just a bit to get our total impedance. So Z is going to be equal to 1 divided by the square root of 1 divided by R square plus 1 divided, uh, plus open your parenthesis. 1 divided by uh, inductive reactance minus 1 divided by the capacitor reactance, close our parenthesis and square it. Again, it doesn't matter whether you have the uh, order right on the uh, inductive reactance and capacitor reactance because since they are inside the parenthesis, if we come up with a negative number, we square it, it will come up to be a positive. So we have a resistance of 12 ohms, an inductive reactance of 8 ohms, and a capacitive reactance of 16 ohms. And we plug that in, we'll have a total circuit impedance of 9.6 ohms. Now, on a parallel circuit, we know that the voltage remains constant across all branches. So V sub T is equal to V sub R is equal to V sub L is equal to V sub C, which is equal to the 240 volts. So we can go ahead and populate the voltage at the resistor, inductor, and capacitor with that 240 volts. Now we're going to find our, our uh, current at our resistor. So I sub R, and we're using Ohm's law here, I sub R is equal to V sub R divided by R. And so the voltage at a resistor is at 240 volts divided by our 12 ohms giving us 20 amps at the resistor. Now we can find our current at the inductor which is going to be equal to the voltage at the inductor divided by the inductive reactance. So 240 volts divided by 8 is going to give us 30 amps at the inductor. Now we go to the uh, current at the capacitor is equal to the voltage at the capacitor divided by our capacitive reactance. So 240 volts divided by 16 will give us 15 amps total for the circuit, or for the uh, uh, capacitive branch, excuse me. Now we can find our total current, and we have to, once again, put a little twist on our Pythagorean theorem because uh, our inductive and capacitive currents will cancel out each other or are part of each other. It'll either be more inductive or uh, or more capacitive. So we'll do uh, I sub T is equal to the square root of I sub R square plus open our parenthesis I sub L minus I sub C close our parenthesis square. Uh, and so we have our I sub R is 20 ohms. Our I sub L is 30, or excuse me, 20 amps. And our I sub L is 30 amps, and I sub C is 15 amps. And so when we plug that in, it gives us a total current circuit current of 25 amps. Now we're going to find our inductance is equal to the inductive reactance divided by 2 times pi times the frequency of 60 hertz. Our inductive reactance of 8. So we plug that in, it gives us 21.22 millihenries. Our capacitive reactance is 1 divided by, open our parenthesis, 2 times pi times our frequency of 60 hertz times our capacitive reactance of 16 ohms. And that will give us 165.79 microfarads. 
Now our apparent power, Volsampri, is equal to I sub t times V sub t. And uh, when we plug in the 25 uh, amps times the 240 volts, will give us 6 kVA for our apparent power. Our true power, measured again only on the purely resistive part of the circuit. So P is equal to I sub R times V sub R. And so 20 times 240 gives us 4.8 kilowatts so that uh, again power true power is the only one that's measured in watts then our bars our wattless power for the inductor is equal to the current at the inductor times the voltage of the inductor so our 30 amps times the 240 volts gives us 7.2 k bars our bars at the capacitor so var sub c wattless power is equal to I sub C times V sub C. So our 15 amps times the 240 volts gives us 3.6 kVars. And now all we have left to do is our power factor and our uh, angle theta. So our power factor, the ratio of the true power to the apparent power, uh, is equal to our power divided by the apparent power, volts ampere. So our power of 4,800 watts divided by our apparent power of 6,000 volts ampere will give us 80 uh, percent for our power factor. When we go to our angle theta it's equal to the arc cosine and plugging in the power factor to it. So the angle theta is equal to cosine to the negative one plug our uh, power factor in as a decimal so 0 0.8 gives us 36.87 degrees phase shift for this particular circuit. Here's a list of all our calculated values. We're now ready to go out, get our meter and go out to the live circuit, make all our readings and compare them to these and see if we're close. If we're close, uh, we don't have a problem there. If we're way out of the ballpark on there, we need to look a little bit closer because there is a part uh, or an issue with that part of the circuit. This concludes part uh, 19 and the it also concludes our basic electrical tutorial uh, series. Uh, thank you for joining me.